Okay, what is up guys and welcome to the 16th video in this series. In this video, we're actually going to get the points level points label incrementing um, as our hero runs by the walls there. So to start, let's go into our ML wall generator class. And um, I actually already typed it out here, but if you remember, we created a, um, a walls array to keep track of the walls just so we could stop them when um, the hero actually ran into one. We're gonna have to create another array um, that's going to actually keep track of the walls that are going to increment um, our points here. So just to retype this out, I'm just going to say var wall trackers equals uh, this new array here. And then also down in the generate wall function, we want to add um, the same wall to our wall trackers array. And just to be clear, we're actually adding the same wall to both arrays. We're not actually like creating a separate wall. Um, we just need to have this array so that we can remove the wall and keep track of when the walls have, have actually passed our hero. So let's do dot append here, dot append wall. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go into our game scene class file and we're going to go down to the update method and um, the update method in scenes is called um, like tens of times a second. It's just, it's updated, every, it's called every single time you change a frame. So we're gonna essentially grab the first item in the array we just made and constantly check whether or not the X value of that wall is going to be past our hero. So um, to grab that, we're just gonna say let wall equals, um, wall generator dot wall trackers at zero. And we're just gonna say as ML wall, just so um, we know it's gonna be an ML wall there. So after grabbing that, let's do, um, we have to check whether or not the wall's position is past our hero. So we can't just do wall dot position dot X here and compare it to our hero because um, our wall is added to our ML wall generator while our hero is added to the view of our scene. So first we have to actually convert the wall's position um, to the equivalent value in our scene. So to do that, we're gonna say, um, we're gonna say create a new constant here. I'm just gonna say let wall location equals um, our current view. We're gonna say converts points um, let me see here. We're actually going to want to do wall generator dot convert point. Okay, here we go. So wall generator dot convert point um, the wall dot position. So the position point right there to, and we want this to be actually be to node instead of from. And we're going to convert this to the uh, the node of our current view, which is just going to be the scene, so self. And um, SK scene is actually a subclass of SK node, just in case that guy, just in case that's throwing any of you guys. So um, that's what we can actually convert between those two, those two nodes. So now we're going to do the check. So we're going to say if wall location dot x is less than our hero dot position dot x we're going to want to remove that wall from the array so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. And we also want to increment our label. So to start, let's, um, let's remove the wall from the array. So I'm just going to say wall generator dot wall trackers dot remove at index zero. And so that's the, um, that's the wall that we grabbed right here. So we're just taking that out and now we're going to grab our points label. And I'm not sure if we set a name. Okay, so right here, oh yeah, okay. So we set a name here for our points label. And um, I'm not sure if I actually, I kind of messed with this before this video. If I didn't actually type that out in a previous video, just add um, points label as the name for this and high score label as the name for this. And you should be good to go. And the reason we're doing this is so we can actually access that. So I wanna say child node with name points label, and I can just um, make this a constant here just to be clear. So I'm gonna say let points label equal child node name points label as 
our ML points label. And so all this is doing, this is not creating a separate points label. All this is gonna be doing is grabbing the points label that we already created. And you wanna just um, make sure you have that in there as well. So now I'm just gonna say points label dot increments. And um, with that, we should be just about good to go. One thing we have to worry about though is this update method is always gonna be getting called even when um, before the game has started. So we need to make sure that this wall trackers array we have here actually has some items in it. Because if it doesn't, it's gonna throw an exception, our app is gonna crash and it's not gonna be good. So let's say if wall generator dot wall trackers dot count is greater than zero, that is the only time we actually want to run this bit of code we just wrote. So now let's, uh, let's try to run this, see what we have here. And as soon as this loads up, you're going to start. So it looks like awesome. So like every time our hero passes one of these walls, it's incrementing this points label right here. So um, that's gonna be it for this video, kind of a short video, but in the next one, we're actually going to get the high score label working so that when we um, get farther in the game, we're actually gonna save that value to our game. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.